Let's have a flight in the south of the Isle of Corsica. This is a little nav map, an ideal tool, free to download, to create flight plans. And let me zoom in a little on this Isle of Corsica. And here in the south of Corsica, we have two airfields, Figari and Campo del Oro. And we'll start in Figari, make use of this VOR here to fly, well, uh, to the northwest a bit, and then make use of this VOR to intercept the radial that will line us up nicely later with the ILS of Campo del Oro. Let's first plan this flight. When we right click an airport, like I did just now, we can set it as departure. And it ends up now here in the listing of the flight plan. Let's do the same with the other airport and now set it as destination. And it creates a straight line and it added that destination airport to the list. Right now I would like to edit this straight line because I want to make use of these VORs to line us up with the ILS and to know where we are. Uh, so you can simply left click on the line to move it, but that uh, does not work right now. We first have to click this icon over here that says enable or disable the flight plan edit mode. That should be enabled. And now I can left click the line and then move the line such that uh, yeah, I can create a plan that I like to have. I will zoom in a little bit over here because I want to make use of this VOR. So let's go to that VOR and then use this uh, radial uh, as our navigation to fly to the next VOR and that next VOR we are just going straight over it to line us up over here with the ILS. And those are the lines, the radials that we want to intercept. Okay, but planning on a computer is easy, but how are, am I going to remember this when I'm in the plane? Well, we can print out this uh, listing and have it on our knee board. And yeah, we could make some remarks over here. Let's do that. Let's right click this line and then go to edit flight plan position. Now we can add a text over there. And the text I'm going to add is this VOR with its frequency. It's the FGI with the frequency 116.70 and that does the trick and now I have that here printed on my listing. I'm going to do the same for this VOR which is the AJO114.80 the uh, edit flight plan position and uh, what did I say AJO AJO114.80 80. And then finally we are going to use this ILS over here. That ILS has the frequency of 110.30. Let me add that to the plan too. Edit position ILS 110.30. That does it and now I have a, a, a perfect flight plan which I can have printed out on my knee board. We can export this flight plan, let's do it, such that we later can import it in Microsoft Flight Simulator. On the file menu, go to export as Flight Sim 2020 and then give it, a, it automatically gets a name, but give it a folder that you can remember so that you can find it back and let's simply press save. Now we have it available and we are going to fly it in Microsoft Flight Sim. Let's open world map and we are going to fly the Cessna 152. I already uh, looked up and zoomed in a little bit on Corsica, uh, but we would like to import our flight plan. We can do it here by pressing space and then again pressing space and then load from this PC and in the folder where we saved it, 
I can indeed find Figaro Vicari to Campo del Oro. So let's open it and see what happens. Yeah, it has, uh, it shows now the flight plan here on the map. So that's all looking good. Let's click fly. Here we are, runway 23 of Figari Airport. And let's first tune the radio to VOR that has the frequency. I can look now on my kneeboard 116.7. Uh, let's do that over here 116 in uh, num nav number 1. 1167 uh, yeah and then click over here and yeah I see that it is moving and then we can already tune the second radio which is 114.8 we will need that later on 114. Oh, first the dot 8 and then the uh, Auto ring for 114. It's ready and when uh, during flight I can press this button and we will change VORs and they both show on this CDI, the course deviation indicator. Well, I think we are ready for takeoff. Let's do it. Ah, no, we are not ready for takeoff because uh, we still have to tune our heading over here to have this needle do what we want it to do. And the heading that we are going to fly is 302, that is this first leg over here, the 302 radial from that VOR. So let's have a look at this uh, OBS, uh, I'm going to turn it until the skill shows 302 at the top. Well, we have to eyeball that a little bit because it, it doesn't have a detailed skill, but this, this should do it. And now when the needle is centered, this vertical needle over here, that should be here exactly in the middle, then we are on the 302 radial. So that's what we are going to intercept, to find. Okay, let's go fly. Uh, first thing is release the handbrake and then we throttle up a little bit. Uh, the rudder keeps us in the middle of the runway. And when we reach a speed of 55, we are going to rotate. And that is at this moment. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a little bit of uh, side wind there. Uh, let's find a steady climb and yeah, keep this runway heading a while until we are uh, safely away from the airport and then we make our curve to 302, that is our first heading. We will be flying more or less over the VOR, if we look at the map we are here, uh, this is our airplane and the, the VOR is right beneath us. So when we make that turn, uh, the needle may still do a bit crazy. It will only stabilize when we really fly away of that VOR. Oh, there goes the needle. Well, let me now find that uh, 302 heading. And uh, oh, there's a lot of wind uh, over here. Uh, let's make that curve to 302 and then we will intercept that radial. Uh, I'm looking at the compass, it's at west right now and uh, there's apparently quite some turbulence here in the hills because we are shaking all over the place. Uh, well, but we can in the meantime have a look at the view, a nice green scenery here in Corsica, the south of Corsica. We are almost at 302 but as we can see here on the needle we have uh, it got to go a little bit to the right, so let's not stop uh, the curve at 302. Oops, oops, what's happening over here? Let's uh, go to 320 and then we wait until that needle is going to center. We still have to climb a bit to uh, yeah, make sure that we don't uh, touch these hills over here. So let's climb to at least 2000. 
uh, in the meantime we keep our heading of 320 and then that needle should come back at a certain moment that means we intercept the 302 radial yeah there it comes the needle is crawling to the center so I can now slowly start to make my curve to 302 and then the needle should stay centered uh, here. okay 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 we can uh, make a little correction again to the right just a little one uh, to have big correction is really not necessary because there's more than enough miles to make to uh, to get that needle centered with small correction so now that needle is right in the middle and our heading is some uh, what 302 this is it let's have a look at the map where we are well it looks like we are perfectly on uh, course and yeah let's not make this video too long let's just uh, slew a little bit forward okay i moved our plane a bit forward to gain some time in this video and uh, the next task at hand is yeah, to switch frequency i already had tuned it over here so let's switch frequency for that next vor and the heading on our knee board 326 so let's tune this thing to three two six and uh, yeah we wait until the needle centers uh, well it is already uh, almost there yeah that's because i slewed ourselves a bit forward uh, am i still gaining altitude oh i did that with that slew <laughs> that was stupid of me well let's have a look at that needle that needle is almost centered so I should make my turn to 326 now and in the meantime throttle down a bit to lose some altitude. Well this is 326 and yeah this is 6 and now we should uh, yeah, fl be flying on that uh, next leg of our flight plan. Uh, let's release uh, the throttle a bit more and lose a little bit of altitude but in the meantime we can have a look over here yeah we made our bend at exactly the right time apparently uh, i am a little bit off course but that is because i let my stick uh, go uh, and there is a lot of turbulence as we can see so i really should keep my hand on the stick uh, what is happening we are going down yeah that is okay that's what i want we keep that needle uh, here that cdi needle in the middle and uh, that means we are on a heading of 326 so let's slew again a bit because the next step of our flight plan uh, yeah that is over here uh, quite a while away we are going to fly straight to that VOR and then yeah, we simply tune in this ILS frequency in the radio and then we line up with that ILS. So let's do that. Let's pick up our flight over here. We are straight over the VOR and that means that probably our needle is doing crazy. Although we are uh, yeah, perfectly on course, 3, 2, 6. My needle is doing strange, but that is because we are on top of that, of that VOR. And now we are flying away again and we can see the needle stabilize again uh, perfectly well on uh, the center of the CDI. Uh, well, we are now going to tune our ILS radio. I have to let go of my stick, so I press pause a bit because the plane <laughs> is going to drift away. I need a third hand to operate that radio. Uh, let's do it. Uh, what was that radio frequency? Well, the ILS frequency 110.3. Uh, let's do that. Dot three is uh, this, and 110 is this. I press the button and now over here I have the ILS apparently I am already flying much too high which we can see because this horizontal bar is below us so I have to lose a lot of altitude well let's uh, start doing that uh, let me uh, 
een pause en dan uh, take off de throttle. Why am I standing still? Uh, we are trying to lose altitude because we have to go down as we see here. So I uh, throttled down completely right now. And now we simply wait until this needle starts to center and that means we can line up with the runway. Uh, so yeah, let's do that and just wait for that to happen. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, yeah, the scenery is looking good here in uh, Corsica, that's quite nice, the south of Corsica. Let's have a look on the map where we are. Yeah, we are reaching that point, well, this is smuggling a little bit. Uh, uh, we are using the radio to uh, yeah, be able to fly blind, so to speak. Um, yeah, we are losing altitude. I can see that that eyeless needle is crawling to the center again, so that is good. Then uh, I can uh, start to uh, go to flaps 10, flaps 1, let's do that. Then we can lose a little bit of speed. Uh, in the meantime, we still wait for... Oh, I can see the airport uh, over there already. Yeah, we wait for that other needle. Oh, I can uh, throttle up again a bit because vertically we are almost uh, okay. Uh, we still wait for this uh, vertical needle to start to center. And yeah, because we can already see the runway over there, we can also eyeball it. But in fact, uh, if, if you are in the clouds, uh, you should be able to line up with that runway just by looking at this needle. It is right now quite nicely centering and uh, we are going to fly towards it a little bit now to make it to slow it down. And yeah, because we can see the runway. It is really very easy if we can keep the needle in the middle and we can also see that we are flying straight to the runway. In the meantime I uh, gained a little too much altitude so let's slow down again and yeah we found the airport. Uh, we did it in nice weather so we had a good sight but uh, yeah just looking at the needles uh, brought us here and now all we have to do is land this plane well why not what i have to do is slow down again because i am too high yeah i am now going uh, quite steep uh, down uh, but yeah that's all because i uh, did not have my hand on the stick and was talking too much so i distracted myself a bit but uh, the 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 needles are now both almost centered so let's throttle up a little bit again so that we can level out on a nice glide path. Uh, well, This should do it if we can keep this steady then we should be able to uh, to land uh, very nicely. Uh, look at those ILS needles they are both centered quite well uh, this is uh, looking good. Uh, we don't have to do anything but uh, keep this going. And yeah, because we can also visually see the runway very well, we of course can smuggle a bit. But uh, you can find the runway only by looking at those needles. Uh, luckily there's not too much turbulence right now over here, so we are fine. Uh, we should be able to see the puppy lights uh, uh, almost uh, right now too. Yeah, I can see them on the left side of the runway. Two white and two red. That should be uh, what is shown. And yeah, according to our vertical glide path, uh, we are doing good. Still a little to the right I have to go. Okay, yeah, it's all looking perfect at this moment. Uh, maybe I blow it at the very end, you never know. But at this moment we are quite steady, uh, moving straight in. And yeah, now from here on I can do it, of course, a visual. I, I did keep my eye on those two needles all the time, but uh, right now we are so close to the runway that we can forget about it. 
uh, the poppy light shows I have to go up a bit so yeah let's do that and now yeah we, we are almost there uh, should be able to touch down more or less in the middle uh, okay let's uh, get that throttle all the way down and move slowly yeah there we are Oop, that was not quite in the middle that was not what you call a smooth landing but hey nothing broke we made it and the whole idea was uh, to show the ILS and not my landing skills which uh, apparently need a bit of tweaking still well maybe see you back in a next video we might do a similar flight like this but then in a uh, 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 plane that has a G1000 so we can see how we tune everything over there. In the meantime, have fun!